Milner bought the property in 1866. He built the house in 1867. And uh, he lived here for 30 years. And he farmed and uh, moved on. The, he was had a city house. I don't know. Uh, well, you don't know the Griffin. Uh, there's another house that he built in 59, 1859. And he sold it in 66 to move way out of town and have a farm. And this is one of Griffin's first dairies. Maybe. But they bring the cows in, 12 cows, and feed them here and uh, milk them there. And then if they pooped, you could clean out the trough. This is my brother and I. Well, I had the best people that had great ideas. And uh, this is the little milk house here. Tell me about this. Well, it, it was the milk house and um, they processed the milk. Um, but uh, back when my um, um, dad uh, came to live, they uh, um, decided to try to have someone here to look after the place. So they made it, added a bathroom and then we remodeled it inside. And, because my brother had it full of stuff, full of stuff. Everything was full of stuff. So this is like a, somebody that helped out around? Uh-huh, uh-huh, but we're, we're going to... Um, was he called like a caretaker? Or? Yeah, it was a couple. When I was growing up, it was a couple. Yeah. Let me let you hear this. Sound old? Oh yeah, this is an old table too. Yeah, that came from the apartment upstairs in the house. It's a perfect. You know, they used to run ads like in the, uh, I used to get that years ago, the Farmer's Market Bulletin. Had to help one on the farm ads. <laughs> and I thought it was pretty cool, you know. I was about, you know, 20, 18 years old. Uh-huh. Well, um. I thought about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was, I thought. And we put in a heat and air in case we need someone to look after us. Yeah. If we move back to the area and go in the bathroom, too. You could get good rent money for that. <laughs> well, yeah, and my son wants to, wants to do that. So to have a little Airbnb or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, stay if somebody wants to live on the farm. So, uh, like vacation rentals by owner. Yeah. I've used those. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying, enjoying showing people. Of the farm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, let me just lock this up and okay. this off and then go down to the building. Been something to see this back in that day when it was operating. Time machine. Yep. I wish I had one. <laughs> yes. But when I was growing up, I didn't know it was a dairy. I mean, I've had to do a lot of uh, digging. Uh, I think it was called Southland Dairy. And see, this is, I, I found this, my grandfather's things uh, that shows the dairy production. And then in 1930, they, the ice cream people wanted to rent the place. Wow. And they've got it fixed. It, it locks from the inside, but you pull this string, mm -hmm. hopefully, and uh, it opens up, binds and all. I think that's cute. <laughs> there it is, everybody.
about it? It's out of order all right now. They're waiting on the maintenance man. Yep. I like what the candle. Uh, we just put that in there. Mm. Yeah, like the little, got the little roof here. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah, that's great. And turn on the air. Oh, yeah. I went to a church one time, this guy said, I'm going to play the organ for you, but play it on air. Duluth, Georgia. This part's a little organized. Christian Bob's over here. Feel what we do. Very nice, though. Welcome to Monterey. Please keep your arms and legs inside the rounded end. Time to the right. We'll be 